I am on my way to buy some cat food for Uma. And I just came from the bank right here. Here's the bank. Well, it's not a bank, it's a credit union. And I'll show you guys myself. Okay, so now we are going. And by the way, I had to take my little buggy because, see guys, because the food, the, the, the bag is very big. So, ugh. So I have to take this buggy. <laughs> okay, so the way I'm going to take you guys, I'm going to take you guys to, uh, to, well, you guys know this street already. It's familiar. Well, let me go back and just show you guys where I came from. Yeah, I just came from right over there. And I just, the, the, the entrance is right over there, somewhere there around there. Yeah, underneath that great big sign, it's right under there. Okay, and down over there is way down over there is where the beach is. You have to go that way. All right, so. And all of that is the coastal processing center for this end of Toronto. So it's really big, gigantic. It's very windy, so I'm gonna have to speak closely to the microphone because sometimes you guys can't hear me. Yeah, so the, the street that I'm going to take you guys is um, a street that you guys have never seen before because I have never filmed it for you guys. So, yep, nobody's home, only Uma, and yeah, it is minus before I left. It's around 12, 15 in the afternoon. January 4, 2017. Can you believe that, guys? We're already in 2017. So, anyway, that's what it is. Whoops! I just, I kind of let go. So, I'm going to hold on like that. Because I was holding on to both both handlebars and it's, it's my hands are a little bit small and it's and it gets too difficult to hold to hold on to both of the handles but yeah like that so I have to hold on to only one well I'm just glad that there's no snow well no ice I don't really care about this the, uh, the snow but I don't I'm glad that there's no ice My head is getting boiling, guys. See, I, I dress really warm because of the wind chill. So before I left, it was minus, um, minus seven, and the wind chill was at minus 14. Yep. Yeah, so there are some workers over there on the other side. They're talking. Ow! Oh, you know what just happened, guys? I just walked over. I just passed by that, <laughs> these, these uh, branches and they kind of swiped my head. Anyway, I wonder if you guys could hear it. I'll be able to hear it if I hear once I, once I watch the video. So we have to go, not this way, we're not going to go this way, we are going to go this way, which is the way that I normally go to church. So I'm just going to stop here for a second and adjust, okay wait, I'm going to see if I can put the buggy, no I'm just going to, yeah because I, I have to see if I can, I have to put the buggy over here, okay I have to I'm gonna put it there on my foot. So I have to fix my finger on the camera. Okay, that's better. I just had to adjust my my finger, my, my pointy finger on the camera. Alright. So here we go. 
I wonder what that truck is with the blue shining light. I wonder what it is. Oh, I think there's sand in there. Maybe they're going to make some, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> oh, I think it's salt, guys. It's a salt truck. Yep, and there's a driver in there. Guys, my head is boiling. I think I'm gonna have to take down... See, they still have their Christmas lights up. I'm gonna have to take down my... Uh... Oh, there's some people in there. In, in the... In the store here eating. I'm gonna have to take down my, my hat because I'm boiling. I wonder if they're waving, I don't know. I can't tell. Um, okay, so now I have to press this thing. Okay, let me see. Any cars coming? Let me see. No, no cars coming. No cars coming, so. There's so many workers everywhere. You see over there? Look at that, guys. All the workers. They're working. Nothing over there? Nope. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna have to take my hat down, guys. I'm too boiling. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna walk over here to where the tree is, and then I'm gonna take down my hat. Because I am boiling. Yes, so I'm gonna be right here now. Okay. Oh, I hit my foot with this thing. And I hate it when I do that because I have really nice, whoa, that scared me. They're working over there, whatever they're doing. Okay. Okay, now that I took my hat down, I'll show you guys. Maybe I'll show you guys now. I feel very strange, guys, because there's so many people out there watching. Okay, and <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing, <laughs> but anyway, I will do it for you guys. I'm just adjusting the strap now so that I can hold on to the camera. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Oh, in one video, guys, I said that one of these houses used to be a hair salon, and I pointed to the, the house on the right, but really I was, I was wrong. It's this house here that has this canopy, or whatever it's called. It used to be a, a hair salon, but I don't know when they, I don't know when they um, closed it. And there's a little tiny birdhouse up there. I think it's a birdhouse, I don't know. Might be, but anyway. Yep. Okay, so now I have to adjust my finger again. What a dilemma, guys. Okay, so here we go. And then there's the park where they have the farmer's market. Over there. Yep, what? Why are there flowers at this time? Oh, my hands are shaking. Sorry, guys. There are flowers over there. Okay, my hands are shaking too much. Hold on, I have to adjust my finger again. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Yeah, I don't understand why there are flowers. Guys, we're in January, and this is um, cold. Well, you know what I mean. Flowers aren't supposed to be growing in, in the winter. No. Okay. <laughs> no cars coming, so let's go. I think I was just talking to myself, but that's okay. Because you guys are listening. So it's like I'm talking to you guys. Well, I am talking to you guys. But sometimes I will talk, you know, just... I'm, my brain is talking out loud and... And uh, it'll sound like I'm talking to you guys. 
but it's still the same thing. So anyway, that's okay. So the place where we have to go is located at the same spot where I normally go to go to the beach. Okay, so it's, it's always located. Well, of course, it's not gonna, the location's not gonna move, but it's located in that same spot. You know what, guys? Based on how people are, their body languages, it looks like the, um, the wind is blowing uh, behind me. So maybe that's why I don't feel the wind. Is, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. That's why I don't feel the wind as much, you know, on me. And I was getting so boiling. So when I come back, then maybe that's when I will feel the wind a lot stronger. Yep. Okay, I have to... Oh, I have to adjust my finger again. Sorry guys, if I have to... Okay, I have to adjust my finger. <laughs> okay, so here's a, a mirror. Okay, not... Well, oops. That was a clinic and I don't think they want people being filmed. Um, okay, so no cars coming. Turn around this way. Nope. Okay, so here we're coming to. We're coming to the building that you could see me. See, guys? Oops, there's somebody coming. Uh oh, I'm getting in the way of everybody. Sorry. Okay, so there I am, guys. You see? Right there. You see me? Okay, and then there's the buggy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here we go. Now I have to adjust my finger again because I was, um, I was zooming. So, hold on a minute. Okay, sorry guys. Oh, this is very difficult. It's difficult to adjust the camera when you when you when you don't have use of both of your hands, guys. Yep. Yeah, it's very difficult. Uh oh. I thought I heard some um, sounded like the lady dropped something, like a coin or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it smells like something um I don't know like I don't know like some kind of chemical or I don't know not not turpentine something like that you know over there is the church over there guys that's see over there that's where I have to go and right here I go up there and I go to the church and you see here is the big bicycle store right so when you guys saw me coming to home from church one day then you guys saw this great big um, motorcycle I mean a bicycle guys it's been there since well I don't know how long it's been there since but I remember seeing it there when I was 17 so yeah that's a long time ago oh watch out little squirrel okay he or she made it across the street I don't know if you guys caught the little squirrel that I on the, on film but he ran across the street and he made it. But I'm sure people will, would have stopped. Guys, I'm getting hot. So I might, okay, if, if it's, um, if I, if, if I still get hot, if I'm still feeling hot, by the time I turn the corner, because I've got to turn left, then I'm going to just undo my, my, um, the top part of my coat, because I'm too hot. See, so, guys, right here, this is where I, I stand to go, and I cross to go to the beach, which is all the way down over there. Down over there. Okay. So, this way is the street that you guys have never seen me walk on before. I wonder what's happening back over there. Well, sometimes drivers get really, they become, 
distracted, you know, with stuff and they just don't pay attention sometimes. They just, they become distracted when they come to a stop and uh, they forget that they have to, you know, when the light turns whatever color for the cars to go, then, or green, and then they forget and, and then the cars behind them start going, hey, hey, hey. Beep, 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 beep. Yep, there's the bus. That's the bus that I took to get to uh, the station one time, guys. Uh, when I was when I was documenting, is there anybody behind me? Because I don't want to, you know, see the road. It's very small, right? And I don't want to get in the way, so nobody's behind me. Okay. So anyway, that's the bus, guys, that I took one day when I was documenting the undergrounds subway system here in Toronto for you people who have never seen an underground transit uh, system before yeah you know what guys one time I was I was at this place I was working at this place right I was working on a chat line you know where people call in and they would like to speak to somebody um, like another like it's a chat line where the other you can either speak to the operator or you can just speak to other people that are on the line, you know? Look at this little house, guys. It's like a gingerbread house. So yeah, anyway, um, I was uh, yeah, working in this chat line place. And one time this guy, like I, I, every operator was in charge of a different language, right? So you know, you know guys, my first language is Spanish, so I was on the, on the line where all the Spanish-speaking people would call. Other people were on an Arabic line and some people, sorry that I'm out of breath. Some people uh, were on the, the Arabic line and some were on the Portuguese line and some were Filipino line and yeah. Anyway, um, but there was no English, guys. It was just language, other, other uh, languages other than uh, English. And so, anyway, most of my my callers were coming from Mexico. Not that it matters anything. It's just weird how it was just very strange, guys, because it was an international line. But the majority of the Spanish speakers would call from were calling from uh, Mexico, right? And uh, and then some from Colombia, but the majority from, from, from Mexico. And then um, one time this guy, right, I think he was from Mexico, he calls in and we're just talking and chatting and he says, uh, he says, Nancy, uh, well, actually, I didn't, he didn't say my name because, you know, you never gave people your real name. You just gave them a false name. Anyway, so then he said, uh, is it true that over there in Canada you guys have... Uh, vehicles that travel underneath the ground and I said yes we do and then the next thing that came out of his mouth was a big resounding liar that's what he said to me he said liar okay so after he said that I already knew that it was hopeless to try and convince him that we really do have underground trains here just like they do in a lot of other countries like in the U.S. and like in parts of Europe, okay, it's, they exist. I don't know if they have them in, in any parts of Africa, I don't know, but yes, you know, we do have them in all kinds of countries, every, a lot of countries, you know, so, okay, there's a police station right over there. So then, yeah, so when he said that to me, guys, when he said liar, uh-oh. I think um, my, my camera might stop recording at any minute. Oh, by the way, I am not hot because there is wind, you know, blowing towards me. So I'm glad that I did not undo my, um, my what's it called, guys? My, my scarf. And by the way, I'm looking at the time, at how long I've been recording. And it's been 19 minutes. And I finally figured out what's going on with why my video camera just stops recording guys first i thought it was the devil i thought he was <laughs> no i really did i thought it was the devil stopping me from recording the messages to the church you know so but then i found out that the camera just it's it it's automatically 
it came that way. It just stops recording after every half hour. Good afternoon. Oh, I don't think he heard me. I don't know him. I just like to say hi to people sometimes. Anyway, so yeah, um, if my voice stops recording, oh, it's 30, 33 minutes now, guys. No, 23 minutes. No, let me see. 23 minutes. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this right now before I get cut off and then I'll start it again.